Hello, you're welcome. How to solve this nice exponential equation? Solution from here. Well, what we have here, this follows from resolving this is when we have a raised to the power m minus n. It's same thing as a raised to the power m over a raised to the power n. At this here, this becomes 5 raised to the power x over 5 squared equals to 1 drained from here. This next step, this same thing as 5 raised to the power x over 5 squared, 5 times 5, that's 25, then equals to 100, and write this as 100 over 1. The next step here, we cross multiply 5 raised to the power x times 1, same thing as 5 raised to the power x, then equals to 100 times 25. Then from here, we take the log on both sides. This here we have log 5 raised to the power x equals to log 100 times 25. The next step here we apply the power log logarithm from where we have log m raised to the power p. This same thing as p log m. That is what we have here becomes x log 5 equals to log 100 times 25. Then, from what we have here, we divide both sides by log 5. That is, divide this side by log 5. Also, divide this side by log 5. And on this side, we have log 5 cancel each other. Then x left here, which is equals to log 100 times 25 over log 5. Then from what we have here, this follows from log log when well, we have log a times b. This same thing as log a plus log b. That is what we have here becomes x equals to log 100 plus log 25 over log 5. That is, we separate this into two fractions and we have x equals to log 100 over log 5 plus log 25 over log 5. Then from here, we can express 25 as 5 times 5, which is 5 squared. Then what we have here becomes x equals to log 100 over log 5 plus log 5 squared over log 5. Then from here we apply the power of logarithm. Two comes here, then what we have becomes x equals to log hundred over log five plus two log five over log five. That is from here, log five cancelled each other. We have two left here. That is x now equals to log 100 over log 5 plus 2. Then also from here, we can rewrite 100 as 25 times 4, which implies what we have here becomes x equals to log 25 times 4 over log 5 plus 2. Then, yeah, this also follows from the law of logarithm. All that becomes x equals to log 25 plus log 4 over log 5 plus 2. That is. Yeah, also we separate this into two fractions and we have x equals to 
log 25 over log 5 plus log 4 over log 5 plus 2. Then we can write 25 as 5 times 5 and that's 5 square. Also 4 can be written as 2 times 2 which is 2 square. That is, what we have becomes x equals to log 5 square over log 5 plus, here we have log 2 square over log 5 plus 2. That is, from here we apply the power of logarithm and 2 comes here also from here. What we have becomes x equals to 2 log 5 over log 5 plus here we have 2 log 2 over log 5 then plus 2 that is yeah log 5 cancel each other and 2 left to it that is x now equals to 2 plus 2 here then plus here we have 2 log 2 over log 5 which implies from here we have x equals to 2 plus 2 that's 4 then plus 2 log 2 to base 5 from change of base when we have log a over log b we can write it as log a to base b so that's why we have this which implies here we have x equals to 4 plus 2 log 2 base 5. Then let's check here if what we have here satisfies this given problem. That is, we substitute the value of x here, which is x equals to 4 plus 2 log. 2 to base 5. Then what we have becomes 5 raised to power 4 plus 2 log 2 base 5 then minus 2 is it equals to 100 on this side then from here we can bring 4 minus 2 together that's 2. And we have 5 raised to power 2 plus 2 log 2 base 5 is it equals to 100 on this side? When we apply the law of indices here, a raised to power m plus n, this same thing as a raised to power m times a raised to power n. That is, here we have 5 square times 5 raised to power 2 log 2 base 5 is it equals to 100 on this side. That is here yeah, 5 square 5 times 5 that's 25 times here yeah, we reverse this to up from power log and we have 5 raised to power log 2 square is 5 is it equals to 100 on this side that is this same thing as 25 times 5 raised to power log 2 square that's 4 is 5 is it equals to 100 here yeah. And what we have here follows from the law of logarithm. When we have a raised to power log b to base a, this is equals to b. Then here we have 4. That is 25 times 4 is equals to 100 from here. And of course, 25 times 4 gives us 100, which is equals to 100 on this side. Now we have the left hand side equals to the right hand side and ends here we conclude that x equals to 4 plus 2 log 2 base 5 satisfy this given problem and thank you for watching don't forget these steps subscribe for more videos and turn the notification bell on share this video with thumbs up and put your comment see you next class and bye for now